Welcome back to Dirt to Daytona, folks. We've got Martinsville Speedway, and the worst thing that could have happened just happened. So we're leading the race. We, Martinsville, this race right here, we're about to run again. We got under 100 left. I think we had 80 left. Caution comes out. I kid you not. This is like the unicorn of Martinsville races. We Not only have we not caused a caution, we were leading the race. We had led the race over 100 laps of the 250-lap race. Caution came out. I decided because I couldn't pick up spots because we had pit under green. I know, another shocker. And we were in third place on lead lap. Everybody else behind us two laps down because we had driven around everybody twice. That's how good this race was going. We pit under caution. Jeff Gordon, something happens with his car on pit road, misses his pit box, and everything stops. And it kept resetting his car farther and farther forward, so he kept not moving. And then the next thing you know, we're multiple laps down. I was hoping it was going to kind of overall reset. It did not. So I shut the game down and I'm re-recording it two seconds after. So I still at least have the momentum of running all those laps. But I'm virtually about to run when I run this second one. Probably 400 and no, probably 380 laps total between the last race and this 250 lap race. So nearly the whole race kind of ish probably two-thirds of a real race but it's unfortunate i feel really confident going into the race now though we did so well um i'm ready i'm ready to go qualify well pass whoever we have to pass to to get in first place if we don't qualify perfect and just make the same decisions and the same good everything that we were right there so let's get out here and i will see you at qualifying no need to practice before this qualifying because I know we can run. And on a great lap, we can run under a 20.5 for sure. Our fastest was a 20.115 during the race. That's not going to happen here. All right, here we go. Qualifying lap. One and two, pretty good. No, oh, three and four, not so good. We didn't get nearly as far down as I'd want there. It's going to be a six or a seven. All right. Seven. That sucked. All right, that's fine. We'll get it on the race. That'll put us into fifth place. We will get the lead in the race. We just have to be patient. Woosa. And make this our makeup race from the shite that we had in Charlotte. Hello and welcome to a piece of racing history, the Martinsville Speedway in South Central Virginia. Martinsville was opened before NASCAR was even founded. It's one of the sport's original tracks. This paper clip shaped half mile has grown from a dusty pioneer to a beautiful racing facility with personality and unique challenges every time. As I said before, our biggest challenge is going to be patience. And if we get a really good jump here, we might be able to snake first place right away. We got it. We got it under control. We're, we're good. We did not touch anybody. We are good. Just need to drive our race the way that we can. Kenseth in second. Well, you know, lucky for Stewart, Rudd, Kenseth, um, Martin. They were all out in the last race. There were seven cautions, and not one of them had been brought out by us. So that part was cool. The unfortunate thing was I didn't I talked the whole time in the last race. Well, not the whole time. Like, I think run number two, we sped up, but we were through run number three and about to head to our final run, stint, whatever you want to call it, when that thing on pit road happened with uh, Jeff Gordon so that sucked the leaders at the time were myself Kurt Busch and Robbie Gordon we were the only two on the lead lap in fact everybody else was two laps behind us so that's going to be really interesting to see how that turns out as you can tell we have a rocket ship of a car we are good we are not overdriving it we are rolling the corners and we are driving away Sterling Marlin in second place right now that was better than the best qualifying lap right there by 
three hundreds. And it's showing in the relative as we drive away from these other cars. We don't need to pound it. We don't need to overdrive those corners again, like I just said. And that's the biggest thing. When you can just drive the car, About hit proper right braking points. Look at that. Now we're way ahead of... And I just messed this corner up. But that last lap was way tenth faster than the... Over a tenth faster than the qualifying... That top qualifying lap. So just got to get into our groove here. Coming up on some lap traffic, that's going to bring its own excitement. The nice thing about that is even if the cars catch up to us from behind because we don't get around these guys fast enough, they may get caught up behind them as well, and that's where we'll be able to drive away again. 250 lap race is huge. If we get caught up behind, even if we lost position by not being able to get around these guys, it's okay, which we're not going to, but it's okay because we have so many laps to get our lead back. And I have to keep reminding myself that out loud simply because if I don't, I won't do the right thing. I'll make aggressive moves and things like that. Uh, John Wood, we were there. Still there. These are the interesting ones. All He's a clear. bit far away for me to dive in there. Car and also, I would have been... I'm so glad that I went All a little clear. high there, though, because John Wood was absolutely about to blast us. Now we got a good run on this clear car. Oh, He's going to stay inside. Perfect, perfect. Get outside. I didn't. Just for a second, the game or the controller stopped responding. That was weird. Not even a second. Still there. But we're good now. We're still getting these passing Clear positions. Eye. At some point, very soon, Stewart, Kenseth, Marlin, they're all going to be up in this pile and trying to navigate through it because they're all close to each other. It actually presents even more of a challenge for them. Me being kind of alone here, being able to make these moves is not a big deal. We are going to make a bit of an aggressive move here simply because I didn't. I don't know why the 119 wanted to live on the inside like that. Uh, Moreland here. Is he going to go all the way down? No, we're here. A little on the curb. Don't want to do that too much, that's for sure. Just navigating through these cars, not running into them. The only car we ran into was right in the beginning. No, we didn't run in. That was the last, sorry, that was the last recording where that's how we started the race is we ran into the front of, actually, I think it was Mark Martin, but he didn't wipe out. We just bumped him right on the start. Anyway. All clear. And a nice... Nice spread on the cars behind us. Hopefully this stays green long enough for us to pass a bunch of double and single digit cars. That would just be great for us as the as the race continues on. We'd be able to pit, not worry about it, pit under green, not lose positions, not worry about a caution coming out with us a lap down because we pit under green, things like that. All clear. See, I don't know why Steve Park is driving up against the wall on the inside. That was insane. Are they going to do that again? Yep. I'll pass him on the outs. Oh, no, I won't. I'll let him get around Echo Park before, or not, uh, Chris Enoch before I do that because I don't want to be Stay low. Still there. Get around Clear him here. Low. Clear low. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Big wreck. Atwood and Earnhardt are in the wreck. Got 57 laps left in the tank and a completely clean car. Little tiny bump on the front. No big deal. We're staying out. We'll be back after the caution. All right. 49 in the tank. First place. Quick shift here. A little bit less quick shift there. Off the gas. Break, 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 break. <laughs> Thanks. And on the gas again. And on the brakes. And rolling the corner. And on the gas again. Perfect. And gap the field. We're not going to go this first run without a speed up. A lot more excitement to come later in the race, I assume. So let's speed things up until we get to our pit. Whether that be a caution or a green flag pit stop.
Carson comes out. Looks like it was Hamilton. Bobby Hamilton involved. He just barely scraped the wall. I gave us 1% arrow. No big deal. Uh, plenty of laps left in the tank. We'll be staying out. We'll see you after the caution. Get set. The race is going green. There's and we're off. Car low. Clear low. Ain't break because, well, you're not going that fast going into one and two anyway. Here are all the cars banging into each other behind us, which would be us if we weren't so far up. Actually, I don't know. I think that if I were in the back, I would probably really just let... I mean, I'd just stay back there until things eased up, and then I would start to make my way through the pack. Because you just... You just can't make room where there isn't room to make, you know? Uh, if you notice, Stewart was right up on, or was not going away. I think once we got into lap traffic, he would have, but... Caution. So, anyway, uh, back to the speed up. We'll be back with you, hopefully, when we're pitting under... Yeah, that was on me and stupid at the same time. Clear high. And, uh, I'm actually going to pit because of it. Because it was on me. And so the problem was I didn't listen to my own rules. And I made a mistake. Pace cars out. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. All right. This is where it becomes a little nerve-wracking for me. Well, thank you, Gordon, for deciding to go up into the wall instead of running into me. I don't know how you would have possibly made that corner without running into me or somebody else, considering everybody else was also stopping. Just don't want mechanical. I can deal with body. Go ahead, hit my car. That's fine, but I don't want mechanical damage because of it. Well, I don't want any damage, but, you know. I'm just trying to be as patient as possible. I said I would do this. Carlo. Oh, yeah, yeah, Get around Skinner, too. Get around Stay Skinner. High. Get around Skinner. There. Yes. Oh. Clear low. Carlo. Big slide from Stewart. Just. Carlo. Oh, that's a tire blown. Somebody blew a tire. Oh, what? Oh, okay.
Okay, I thought. Still there. Thought I just was about to get blasted up into the wall, but we're good. We're rubbing with Mark All Martin clear. here. Clear oh. Car low. Still want to use the outside. Just because there's nowhere to go on the there's inside, but the outside I at least have a little bit of room. And I can outbreak Borland. And I got McCabe. I mean, yeah, I also have Sadler here, but Sadler's of no consequence because he's behind McCabe. Still there. So to be able to get up and around McCabe is a big Carlo. deal. Wow, McCabe gets spun out by, I think, Kenny Clear Schrader. Low. Right after we pass him, we would definitely have been involved Clear. in that whole thing. But here we are in fourth, moving our way up. Uh, minor cosmetic damage, nothing, or arrow damage, I guess, but nothing that's going to be arrow worthy on this track. The two car is headed into the pit. Uh, don't know why he's pitting. We would have had probably 11 left in the tank unless he was the one that blew his tire or he had mechanical issues because we absolutely um, would not have had to pit for a little while. The only reason why I pit especially was because of the Okay, Cloud, thank you, Smoke. Um, the only reason why I really did pit was because I had damaged the engine at the end of that run with the car that stopped in front of me. Come on, Still man. Still there. You're all clear. Be just like Chris Enoch, all of a sudden just drive all the way down. That would have sucked. All clear. But he didn't quit. Cars into the pit. Oh, we got a number of cars heading into the pit. Oh, I guess it's their time, but really didn't feel like it was about to be so interesting i mean we'll take it we got labani up there well we got both labanis but only one of them is for a position and that is bobby going into the pit. he's going into the pit good well to be honest with you i should be two laps in front of freaking everyone and have over 100 laps led because that's how the race i just ran at this location right before I had to rerun it because of the stupid Jeff Gordon thing in the pit was we had dominated that race and I want I think that I should dominate this race but in that race we never pit under caution actually oh no no we did our first pit was under caution but it was with everyone else was no big deal no big deal we did have three cars on the lead lap, or two other cars on the lead lap with us. It was Robbie Gordon and Kurt Busch. Obviously not the case. Well, Kurt Busch is there again. Look at that. Still there. Clear high. Interesting. Trader. Pit road right there. About to be down a lap. As well he should be. Gordon. Marlin. Gordon. They're all out there. Robbie, I'm actually about to drive a lap down. Robbie! It's Robbie and Bobby. All clear. This feels fun to say. We can get up to his tail. Ugh. Maybe. Yeah, we'll get there. Still there. Gotta Car high. Not shoot up the track into Blaney. You're all clear. We just lapped the natural way. Marlin right there too. Trying to do the same thing to him. Pretty sure these cars have not pit because otherwise we would actually have more down than we do. Car low. Oh, sorry. Car decided to stop car turning low. for a second there. It's always Clear great low. when it does that. Clear high. It's fine. Car low. McCabe, Clear. second time lapping in this short time frame that we've been All out clear. on the track again. That's crazy. All clear. Absolutely. Pandemonium. All right, Jeff. You're next All on clear. my list of cars clear to high. lap. Not Burton. Oh my goodness. Pit. You have no idea what sort of hellish crazy clear thought low. I just had right there of death. I thought we were about to slide up into that barrel and blow our engine. And I just don't like that. I don't, I don't like that idea at all. This car is jumping over to get into the pit. And then they slam all on their clear. brake, which is, all I mean, I guess it's clear. the apron, but 
I was just trying to get around him. Just trying to get around him. Like, that guy's not going on the apron to pit because the pit isn't until lap three or turn three and four. So, well, it's at right at the entrance of turn three. Which, uh, I will say, under oh, green flag, I did not know. But this is really, it's really an easy pit to get on because you would hit slam on the brakes anyway. I didn't know that's where it was. And I was out of fuel. I had, it had just ticked to one to go and I would not have made it around the track again. Okay. Carlo. That's, well, how about you turn the car? There's a thought. You know, it's a corner. Clear low. Anyway, uh, and I was at the very last second. I'm just like, whoop, hopped the curb, got into the pit lane. No penalty. Did a good job. We made it work. Ooh. The yellow's out. Oh, whatever. All clear. Whatever. Guarantee Kurt Bush pits now. Oh, guarantee we put pit right now. Oh, we have radiator damage. All right, we'll pit because we have radiator damage. And then we'll be back on the track in a little bit. Mike Mack pause or damaged car on the track. We've got, uh, we are in the lead by a lot, except for Kurt Busch is with us. He pit as well and just kind of pushed us Carlo. up into Gordon or uh, Earnhardt Jr. And now is being a butthead. Carlo. But as long as Jr. doesn't come up the track, I should be able to get on the gas earlier and go. Oh, he went way down. Oh, now we're stuck. Carlo. Car high. Whoa, 161. You're not even... That wasn't even... Well, it couldn't have been me. He was behind me when he did that. Although I would like to get him behind these cars on the inside and just start passing him like I do. Ugh. Hold it to get... Oh, we're, we didn't We didn't hold it together. Hey, we didn't damage the wheel. How did that not happen? Uh, I'm going to outbreak these guys here because I do not want to be in that pack. All right. We're just going to focus but talk at the same time. I'm all right. Everyone's fine. Everything is fine. Our brakes feel a little weird. We're not getting the straight braking line that I would have expected us to get. Okay, well, that time I did that on purpose because I thought I was going to run into Newman. Still there. Bush has gotten through the pack that was behind me. Now it's time for us to make a, uh, an assertive move. I'm all right with this move. I'm not all right with this move. I'm less than all right with this move. Now we have damage. Oh, no, just the front end is red. Well, Kurt Busch. Yes. Well, we lost it, and he was he was who ended up taking it. Whatever. Just maybe I need to start pumping the brakes instead of just holding them down. I don't know. I was fine before. I know we're damaged now, but man, every yeah, we're like locking up the front left, going left when we're touching the brakes. I don't have the bias set up that way, so Carlo. maybe it's the damage to the body or something is locking them up that way. I'll All just clear. do a little more pumping the brakes instead. Kurt Bush, two seconds behind, caught up in that pack. Hopefully he stays there for a while. Got to get around Borland here, which will be... Easy work in just a second as we get off this corner. Give him a little tappy tap, a little bumpy bump, and a little see you later, sucker. All clear. Oh, wow. He goes into the corner sideways. Good for him. Showing his drift style abilities. Wrong discipline of racing, my friend. But you do you. You're never going to win a race here anyway. Don't be so mean and brash. That is horrible. Yes, yes it is, but it is also very true. Now the goal is to get back to these cars that were in front of us because we appear and to take their spots on the lead lap. There's a number. There's a lot of them actually that are on the lead lap right now. We're not putting together really good laps. I don't, I don't quite understand that. If I can. Oh yeah, a lot of it apparently has to do with the braking because I just did it again. Also, my car is decided not to turn sometimes, more times than not, which is fantastic. Let's see if I can figure something out here to make me better. Maybe. Man, I like it when I have the fire coming out of the uh, exhaust. I'm not getting that. I, I rarely get that. Even when I redline, I rarely get it. 
Oh, nice. That was a good lap. So we adjusted our issue. What the hell? We had adjusted the issue for a second. It's like I'm just having a problem rolling these corners now or something. As soon as I touch the gra grass, as soon as I touch the gas, we go straight up the track. I'm going to make an aggressive move here, but I think we got it. Yeah, we yes, we do. Clear high. Oh, oh, Kevin Harvick on the outside. If we can get to the inside here and not wipe out on the curb, we should be good. Car high. So, clear high. You're all clear. Everybody here is a faster car, at least. Like at 58. Whoa. At 58 miles an hour, I should be a whoop. That's going to probably bring out the caution. I don't know what happened there. We got into each other. I just don't understand how we got into each other. But we're going to have some more cars on the lead lap with us. Well, that's fun. We got to go 51 laps with our car looking like this. I feel like we can. I feel like we'll be okay. It's was Rusty Wallace kind of diagonal behind us there? I bet he got hit. I heard a, I heard a noise. I heard a noise. Anyway, let's get back to the right braking. So we can actually roll our corners. Power up. Oh, 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 man. There's a spin in turn three. I'll tell you where there's a spin. In, I don't have a... I got nothing. All I gotta say is we'll be back after the caution. Alright. Junior's on the lap with us. Bush is on the lead lap with us. We don't care. We're super fly. We only have 40 laps to go with a completely destroyed front nose piece and very... It's a 1% damage on that front right wheel. That's why it's... We're not really showing much of an issue there. Just need to remember breaking early. Well, <laughs> you know, breaking early for me is breaking on time for everyone else, I suppose. I used to drive it into about here. Oh, maybe even farther up. I don't feel comfortable even trying to do it anymore. Getting on the brakes like that isn't good because that's, I think, also why I was sliding out so much. At least here I have a chance to kind of correct it, brake well, pull the corner nicely. And not while well, I mess that up, but you know what's funny is when we um, when we do the early braking, it kind of reminds me of Days of Thunder when Tom Cruise races the way he races, then races the way that uh, his crew chief wants him to race. And his tires are way nicer after his crew chief has him race the way he races and actually his laps are faster as well. That's kind of how it is here. You know, I can oh, I can drive hard into the corner and it feels like we should be running better. We're actually burning up the tires faster and our lap times aren't as fast as if we slow down, roll the corner at a reasonable speed, are in control of what we're doing, and then are able to accelerate off better kind of crazy how that works it's almost like days of thunder knew what they were talking about when it came to racing maybe they did their research as we begin to come up on lap traffic again martinsville is crazy for that i mean that obviously bristol is pretty crazy for that too you get up to lap traffic in no time at all i think a lot of it just has to do with how much cars get backed up trying to do anything there will be a big backlog of cars, and then a clearing, and then a backlog of cars, and then a big clearing. We're going to try to go around the outside on. Car low. All and we're clear. On the inside of the 131. Come up behind the 119. And hang on with him. If I'm close enough, I can drive off. The already passing him. Perfect. Slow All down. Clear. Is a spin. It's Steve Park, and Henson got on the inside of us, but not for long, sucker. All right. Oh my! Oh. That. Okay, good. All right, folks. Thirty-three in the tank. We're staying out. 
I forgot to look to see who was involved in the caution, but oh well. If I can roll this one a little better than the last recent. No, not really. The drive off will be good, though. And it is! I'd like a long enough green flag to get around and pass uh, Bush and Earnhardt Jr. again. That would be great. I hear a lot of bumping and banging going on behind us. Oh, Bush passes Earnhardt. See, in my other one, he was in second place as well, but it was uh, him and Gordon. Robbie Gordon. That were the two that were on the lead lap with us. And by now, everyone was two laps down, not one. Just throwing that out there, so whatever. What do we got left in the race here? 119. So we'll be pitting with... Okay. Under 100. Barely. I really need to pay attention to my driving. Jeez. Speaking of, we're going to go ahead and speed it up for the rest of this run. And we'll be back with you, hopefully, when we are pitting, not under caution. Not sure what the caution came out for, but 15 left in the tank, we might as well pit. All clear. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh. Pace cars out. <laughs> Glad that that doesn't affect us once we pass the uh, caution line. Get set. The Owen Justice, green. Mike Wallace, cause of last caution. That was not... Oh, good. Oh, we bounced right off of it quick. That was way better than it could have been. And then when we hit Kurt Busch, we damaged our front. That's just... Carlo. It's fine. It's just funny. I just was so adamant about trying to get Still in there. front of Junior. But I messed up. Oh. That wasn't great. For him. <laughs> For him. All clear. There's a spin in turn one. Turn, you pig. Yeah, the car isn't turning now. Perfect. Perfect. Now it is turning. Okay. Junior got it back together. He's only 12 seconds behind. Wish is with the group right behind us. Hopefully three seconds behind him. Yep. In a moment. Brakes aren't being stupid anymore. That had to be something involving the damage I had. That time I was being stupid. Turn the car. There you go. There you go. Nope. Nope. You won't do it. Thank you. I won't let you do it. I had to adjust the mic and I might die because, oh, I thought I was, I definitely thought we were about to wreck because I just took my left hand real quick and moved the mic up towards my mouth. I 
I just gotta get into a groove. Let me get into a groove. It's still not the right groove. I want to roll the whole corner. I don't want to have to tap the brake or the gas until I'm leaving the corner. Should be around 75. Oh, still. Eh, it might have been, but I, I angled too weird. Go out to the third lane-ish. I don't know that. I messed up, but we'll see how it works out now. Ooh, it might have been 80. 80 felt pretty good. Eh, maybe not now. Oh, really tight again. I'm trying to get up to these here lavers. Increasing our lead. Tony Stewart on pit road. A number of other cars probably about to join him. I think I saw a number, a couple flags there. A couple flags. Don't break this dude here, but not this dude. I know that dude on the outside's Laguerre. I can't remember who 113 is. I'm going to be all up on him. Still so there. when I exit the corner, I can... Well, look, we're not turning. Well, maybe that was John Wood. <laughs> I'm like, the car isn't turning to the left. I don't know why. Clear low. All right, let's... Let's... Wow. Come on, man. Not messing with Stewart driving like a psycho as he came off a of pit road. Still there. I'm gonna get inside of these cars and gap him by clear three high. cars. Car high. All clear. There we go. I'll do the same thing right here. I do really feel like I'm losing Stay steering now. Oh, he started to come inside. Stay low. Still there. Nobody wants that in their life. Get out of my. I'm done. Get off Carlo. of me, stupid. There's a spin in turn two. That was definitely not what we out. want in life. Definitely not what I wanted. We'll be pitting. Pace cars out. James Daly and Chris Enoch green. were the cars that were damaged. I was leaving the race and I pit, so... Robbie Gordon is technically on the tail end of the lead lap. I'm not going to let you in, sir. I've got I've got places to be. Car low. Clear low. Junior is going into the pit Clear literally high. less than a full lap after caution is done. So that was the dumbest thing ever, ever for him to do. Clear and he's high. going to lose a lot of pay, place, pay, uh, places now. So good. Good on him. I just don't get it. Why not pit under caution? I don't know. Wonder what happens if I turn on mandatory caution. But I think that meant or mandatory pitting, but I think that's only for like if you're running the super short without uh I don't know. I don't know. Seventy-nine laps to go. So we've gotten farther on this one than we did on the last one. Junior just now getting on the track. Fourth place, two laps down in front of Kenny Schrader. He was right behind us. So you definitely lose two laps on green flag stops. There's that answer. What I plan on doing here is simply... Trying to drive well. Continuing to drive well. Continuing to make good decisions. Continuing to... Well, this race is, it has, has not gone as smoothly as the one that I had run right before this that crashed, basically, because of the pit stop issue. But I will say... 
It's just... We, we've still done a lot better than we have in the past. That's what we'll say here. I mean, obviously we have... We're leading, and we have a lap lead on everybody. My goal is to catch Marlin. Mm -hmm. Laguerre. And, oh, come on, dude. Now we have a red bumper. I might as well pit again. We've got everyone to lap down. I think they should put the cars on the lead lap on the inside. Really appreciate them opening the Red Sea for me here. Nothing I could do there. There we go. It's that first turn is always terrible. Turn one and two because I've said it a million times. You just you're not at your normal speed, so it's not normal to go around that corner. You're so used to, especially when you run as many laps as we do in this uh, series. You're so used to your routine of slamming on the brakes, and then you realize you aren't going nearly as fast as you would be if you were running off of exit of the last turn. Spin in turn one. Please do not bring out a caution. We have 68 laps to go. We have 65 in the tank. Looks like Elliot Sadler might have been the spinner as he pulls into the pit. Guess I realize I am just boning my corners right now. Let's get back on it, guys. Let's get back to normal. Let's do better. Let's do better. That wasn't better. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but it wasn't better. Trying to I'm just trying to figure out what angle I want to take. I know that we only have 66 laps, so we're almost 200 laps into the race. I've run now 350 laps. Yeah, because it is just over 400 laps. Because we were, we were pitting for the last time in that last race. So we were at like 70 total laps left or something like that. So I think we would have, we ran, or we will have run like 430 total laps on this because we had to rerun this race. And I did it right away because I, this is what I have to do. Gotta have the content for you folks. So I can't just... You're like, oh, I'll come back to it in a couple days when I'm not frustrated by the fact that the game just locked up. I'm like, well, I'm fresh. I know what I'm doing on this track. I don't need to relearn what I'm doing, my breaking points. I don't need to, you know, I've been a groove-ish. And so I'll just do that and run it right away again. And here I am. Watch the Xfinity race at Watkins Glen. And now I'm watching... Pre well, I'm not watching. I'm listening to preseason football. Wow. Racing. Same thing. Well, I... Same thing with the uh, race. I was listening to it, and I paused the, this... A, oh. I paused this a couple times to watch the overtime and stuff of the Watkins Glen race. Carlo. All and all there. that did to me because I... Oh. I just ran the Watkins Glen race a couple races ago. A few races ago, I guess. But um, all that made me think of when I watched the Xfinity race, not only were the accidents similar. I mean, there's a lot of them. Bus stop, carousel, turn 12. So many, so many airy yeah. turn one. So many opportunity spots to where all cars right. are trying to get They're a position clear. and not being patient and running into other cars and doing stuff like that. So, but the one thing I noticed was it looked like obviously they 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 have more control yeah, than somebody who's player. driving with a freaking Xbox controller. That's the big part for me. There's a spin so, I barely booped that guy on the side, and he totally lost his crap. So that was interesting. But and now I'm still hearing the cars bang around, so I don't know if that guy is still sideways on the track All over right, here. But I'm feeling like someone side. Yeah, he, he just got All straightened low. out by Burton. Well, one good thing comes to this because we have less than 70 laps left in the race. I can pit for the very last time. Um, obviously, barring damage to the car, we won't have to be pitting again. You're all clear. Pace cars out. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. 52 laps to go at the line. 
And we got Ryan Newman in a triple digit car. We got cars coming off of pit road right now. So we've got cars now three laps down. Amazing. The Bonnie, the only car one lap down. Amazing. And all of those cars stuck on pit road. Or no, they're just coming off of pit road. Amazing. I have no idea what's going on with them, but you know what? This is just payback to me for the BS that I had to deal with and why I'm rerunning this race. Is everybody off of pit road now? Probably. Yeah, they are. So they weren't stuck. They were just all coming off from their pit. You're all clear. Just want to get around Blaney and then start working on this triple digit car. Uh, see if I can get around the triple digit on the outside. I'm on his... Oh, we're a little tight there. A little tight off. We'll get him here, though. Even if we do break at the same time, we're still going to get him. Because I'm a better car, not driver. He's doing a great job of staying on the inside there. Spin here. I'm going to definitely... Oh, no! Bonnie's now two laps down, and he got clipped. He may not be in second place anymore after that. But that'll open up the race for everyone. If Labani goes three laps down, that means second place and below is all basically an open season with each other. It's happened to us before where we haven't been able to win because of it. It'll happen to these guys too. No big deal. It's just how it goes. Let's see. Yeah, car. Whoa, 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 whoa. See how it just turns? I'm totally turning the car to the left. I don't know why it keeps doing that. It hadn't done that in a long time. And now it just started doing it again. There it did it again. I have to tap the brakes to get the car to turn. Like, I need my controller causing a problem. Come on. I don't know. I do not know. What I do know is that we are so far in the lead that we're going to go ahead and speed it up. It's like 10 to go, probably. Let's be honest. Well, maybe I'm going to have problems because this stupid controller all of a sudden being stupid. Like, why is it doing? It's doing it again. Awesome. Probably because I've had to run so many laps. The controller has just fatigued itself. It's like, nope, I'm done. Yeah, it just did it again. Every every lap now it's doing it. Amazing. Amazing. Hold on. See, I just unplugged it and plugged it back in because that's what real tech support does. See if that helps it. Resetting the input or some something. There's a spin in turn one. Huh? Nope. 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 See it just turned straight up the hill. No re no reason. We have no wheel damage. And it's not that it's doing it because of the car anyway. It's doing... It keeps doing it. Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter. We have a huge lead. We'll limp it through. Get through the race this way. I think our next race is at Atlanta. And then our following race is at North Carolina. Five out. races this month. There's a spin in turn Jeez. one. Pace car's out. Get set. The race is going green. There's All right. We're going to speed them up like I said. And we'll be back on it uh, with about 10 to go. Unless something happens before then, which I hope it doesn't because we have a minimum of a two-lap lead right now.
Caution comes out. I assume it had to do with the 131 that spun out earlier. He probably just took too long to get figured out. Now we got the 181. We got Junior on his roof. No longer up there in the top 10. And, uh, well, we got nothing going on, so we'll be back after the caution. Uh, about the line, we will have led 215 laps of this race, and there are 12 to go. So... What a turnaround. Um, we really found something we never found with the truck series. We found speed in the car. Like, these laps were not uh, lost by cautions. I know maybe one or so of them, but there's a number of cars that they're way more than three laps down. And we just came out and we ran a race. I mean, we would have definitely lapped the whole thing. Well, maybe I'd say two cars or so would have been on the lead lap with us. But even so, every time we had a restart, we drove away from them because we found that speed. You know, it was something that we've always had a problem with at Martinsville, something we have a problem with at uh, Bristol as well, trying to find that speed. And we found it. And unlike... Uh, Unlike at Talladega, where when you found speed, they seem to find more speed. Here, finding speed means huge gapping win, and that's awesome. Now, as you're well aware, and I'll repeat it again, next season will not be this way because all the cars will be fully upgraded. This is that season between where you upgrade your car fully and you haven't won a championship yet. They are better. Oh, another caution. Anyway where you have upgraded your car. They haven't quite upgraded their calls completely yet. Next season, everybody after you win a championship will have their car fully upgraded. So anyway, we'll see when we come out. Uh, eight or nine laps left in the race. So we're going to have probably five or so left. Hermie Sadler, Kevin Harvick, damage cars on the race, on the caution. Get set. The race is going green. Four laps There's to go at the line. Line. I messed that up. I thought I was starting in third gear. I was starting in second. Clear low. That's all right. It was just something to do with the last couple laps. Track down and pass uh, Kenseth. Which isn't going to take much because we're fast. Still there. All clear. As long as that stupid controller thing doesn't happen. Yeah, uh, when we added on speed up, it looked like I was kind of all over the place. I was having really bad problems with the controller. And all of a sudden, we'd shoot straight and run into people, which is awesome. You know, you know I love that. As if, I'm, even though we have a huge, wow, that was our best lap ever. Even though we have uh, two laps to go in a three-lap lead right now, I'm still super stressed out that something's going to explode before I get to that finish line. This is a big deal here, winning at Martinsville. It's a big deal. Look at that. There it is. I thought I would miss last him. <laughs> oh, thank goodness this is the last lap. Because we actually blasted our engine completely. That's hilarious. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Whatever. We'll finish the race with the win. But imagine if we had other cars that were close to us and that happened. We just nicked him like that. Congratulations to the 166 NSA Chevy Camara team. What a fantastic and dominant run. Top five for this race. Tony Savoy, Ken Schrader gets second place. Sterling Marlin, Matt Kenseth, and Terry Labani. One of our big nemesis is, as far as standings go, is Sterling Marlin. And he finished. Oh, third. Duh. Uh, other notables of the race, I would just say Mark Martin, who finished last, and Ricky Rudd, who finished 39th. Not good for them. Not upsetting for us. And we'll walk away with $622,402 on that one. Tony Savoy won again on October 16th, making short work of the competition. Savoy now has 14 wins this season and increased the season lead to 459. In our next episode, we've got Atlanta Motor Speedway, 1.35 million. It's another race. It's a challenge for us. It's that turn four exit. It's similar to Charlotte in that mile and a half configuration. And I'm going to do what I didn't do at Charlotte. I'm going to make the car completely stable and just figure out what we can do from there. Because 
a fast track, but there's so much room you get loose and you're pretty done. So we need to fix that. Anyway, though, folks, that is going to do it for this episode. I want to take a moment out to say thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. And until next time, and of course, as always, you take care.